now we have finished so we can check the result and see if we can improve uh, our uh, fitting okay if you want to see the result then you can go to the result window here it's just a text file uh, is actually saved uh, with the name of your analysis ending in dot lst okay so here we have uh, for example all the refined parameter here uh, with the error the estimate standard deviation okay so what was refined by the program at the end uh, are just the volume fraction of the two phases you see here with the error and then uh, uh, background parameter a two theta displacement or offset okay uh, the cell parameter for the corundum uh, crystallized size microsite for the corundum and a b factor actually the program for quantitative analysis used by default only one overall b factor so all the b factor were equal to the first one of the, the one of the first atom of the first phase, so the O1 for the corundum. So for the tetragonal zirconia, also the crystallized size and microstrain and uh, cell parameter were refined. You can check also, okay, then at least for every object inside the program, uh, just to check uh, if everything was okay. Uh, list of atomic position, reflection list for uh, this is for corundum and that there should be one for the uh, for the zirconia okay let's go and see now uh, under sample okay if we edit the object here always I use this uh, shortcut button over here to edit the selected object so uh, by default Maud was uh, using one big layer okay in general in Maud you define your sample in layers okay if you have a bug sample then you put only one layer uh, with something like infinite thickness for uh, x-ray in this case remember for Newton should be bigger in case uh, these uh, parameters here are used for reflectivity, but here you find the uh, phase fraction for this layer. So the phase fraction can be also defined differently for each layer and refined differently. So corundum and zirconia, and the weight fraction is reported over here. Okay. Um, now another so actually there is one thing to note uh, is that the tetragonal zirconia we just changed the cell parameter but we didn't change the uh, composition so in reality the composition is not uh, 85 15 for uh, zirconium and cerium but is actually 82 and 18 for the cerium so in principle, to get a better refinement, we should also, or more accurate result, we should change uh, the zirconium and C ratio. Uh, you can check here, if you look at the X, Y, Z, so the coordinate for the C and the zirconium, they occupy the same side, but the occupancy is 85% for the zirconium and the rest is cerium oxide. So what we can, and the oxygen is in another uh, position. So normally when you deal with uh, so something like this one, then what you want is that actually the cerium just occupy uh, what uh, remain left from the zirconium. So in MAUD we can do the following uh, we can set the occupancy of the cerium, ox the cerium atom just equal to okay, and we put a bound actually so we put it equal to the uh, 
Well, it's actually okay. Here is what is best is actually to just close. Uh, this is the okay. Here is the corundum. We close. We go directly to the uh, to the zirconia. Okay. Here is the zirconium atom, and we bound the occupancy of the cerium. Okay, to the occupancy of the zirconium. Okay. And the equation we use is just that the cerium uh, occupancy should be equal to 1, here is the constant value, times the site occupancy of the zirconius minus 1. Okay, so this is, uh, you can read it like 1 minus the occupancy of the zirconium. So I set the bound. Then I close this window, I don't need it more. Well, we can check here, if I put here now 82, then I go to the cilium, you see it's at 18, so it works. Okay, okay, and uh, well, it should not change too much. Yes, you see only changing a little bit the weighted sumo square here. Uh, if we want to refine the, the fitting is not really perfect, we can check over here, for example, is mainly the uh, peak profile not perfect. Look over here, and uh, so we can do something better actually. Let's check, for example, the zirconia here. You can see that uh, the peak is a little bit larger, so the experimental one is, is uh, sharper than for the 004 and uh, correct for the 220, 